Australian photographer and traveler Claire, meets English instructor Andy in Berlin. After spending the day together, they go to Andy's apartment to have sex. Claire wakes up the next morning imprisoned inside. When Andy comes back, he claims he left a key behind, and after they go out dancing, she stays another night. The following day, Claire discovers that he has removed the SIM card from her phone and scribbled Minen, which is German for mine, on her shoulder. She tries to break through the windows, but discovers they are reinforced with plexiglass and have two panes. She realizes that the building's other units are vacant. Claire begs Andy to let her go when he gets back, but he starts binding her to the bed so that she can urinate on herself while he is at work. Andy confesses to his father Eric that he is seeing Claire over dinner. When Eric inquires about the whereabouts of his ex-girlfriend Natalie, Andy replies that she moved back to Canada. When Andy lets Claire take a shower that evening, she discovers a clump of long, golden hair down the drain. In a pretend text, Andy tells Claire's mother that her daughter is okay. After discovering a screwdriver beneath the couch, Claire stabs Andy in the hand and leaves the flat. Breaking her fingers, Andy catches her in the courtyard downstairs and brings her back inside. Franca, one of Andy's students, arrives and approaches him flirtatiously. However, when she catches a glimpse of Claire, Andy tells her that she is his girlfriend and threatens to report her behavior, which makes her leave. Andy keeps acting strangely, snapping images of Claire in unsettling poses, chopping off chunks of her hair, and hiding away in a locked chamber. After learning of his father's death, he spends a week at his father's house, where he stays depressed and leaves Claire alone in the flat without electricity. She gives him comfort when he gets back, and they have sex. Claire seems to be in a better mood as the holidays get near. She bakes goodies for Andy and picks up the accordion. After giving her his father's dog as a gift, he murders the dog out of jealousy a few days later. For the first time in months, Andy brings Claire outside to a forest where he intends to murder her with an axe. Two small boys interrupt them, one of them with a leg injury. Claire gently asks the other person for assistance, but he doesn't speak English. Andy is at a work party on New Year's Eve when Claire gets into a locked room and discovers albums of pictures of a blonde woman. A man from outside shines his flashlight at the windows, causing her to scream for help. He tries to save her, but Andy comes back and uses a crowbar to kill him, saying it's her fault he's dead. Andy enlists Claire's assistance in wrapping the body in plastic. In the courtyard, he burns the corpse in a garbage. As more time goes by, Claire seems to be content with her life with Andy. She conceals a picture in Franca's workbook when she witnesses him grading students' workbooks. Franca discovers the photo of a gagged and bound Claire. The other pupils distribute the picture that she dropped as she runs out of the class. Andy rushes out of the school when he realizes what is going on. When he gets home, he discovers that the sealed box containing Claire's belongings is empty and the courtyard entrance is open. Franca had rode her bike to the apartment and finds Claire just before Andy arrives. By lurking on the floor above Andy's apartment, Claire entices him inside. She calls his name when he enters the apartment and before he can respond, she locks him inside. Franca, who is hiding in a cabinet in the flat above, is saved by Claire. When Claire is at last free of Andy, she drives freely in a taxi across Berlin streets.